The ingredients, the ingredients we need for the scrum deli mac is some vegetable oil, that'll be just to coat the bottom of the pan, some salt, some pepper, some the star of the show will be half and half. That's the star. We need that. And butter. So a big old pot to boil the pasta in. Yellow mustard, sour cream, elbows macaroni. Kobe Jack cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, mild cheddar cheese, and mozzarella cheese. And we're gonna grate that up. This here, we'll be using this for the cheese sauce. The rest of it will be grated up and put into the macaroni, the milk, and layer. Okay, so the salt water has come to a boil. I did add in two tablespoons of water to this, I'm sorry, of salt to this water. This is a 32 ounce box. I will be using close to half of it. So maybe about 14 or 15 ounces. Let me just pour it in there. I'm gonna give it a stir and let it cook. stir it immediately because you don't want the uh, pasta to cook clumped up together. And the salt will help that. It's um, not for seasoning. It's to keep it from sticking. You do not want to put oil in the water because that will make the cheese slide off once we do the cheese sauce. So the uh, pasta is still boiling but I want to go ahead and get the cheese sauce prepped. I shook up my half and half. I'm going to put about a good cup, let's see, that's about a good cup and a half. We just want to let the uh, cheese be able to loosen up in there. Look, we are moms. We don't have time. We don't got to be fancy smashy. A knife will get the job done and so will my thumbs. So we're going to break it up. And I'm pretty much just making sure, to make sure it's like equivalent cheese to milk or half and half, we kind of don't want to leave too many pockets and spread it out. And I think this is about a fair amount because we, we don't want too much cheese because we want to be able to loosen it or mix it and let it be loose and not too thick. So I'm just gonna sit this here. I will be popping it in the microwave just as a shortcut to warm it up once my pasta is done so that we can coat it in the sauce. We'll be back. All right, so this is done. You don't want it too soft. I did kind of get it a little softer than I'd like to. You kind of want it al dente, just enough time to get cooked through. Um, I did stir it about two more times so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot. We're gonna go ahead and get it straight. So I have the cheese warming up in there. Um, I did put two tablespoons of oil at the bottom of the pan that we'll be putting the macaroni in. The macaroni has drained. Next, we'll be mixing the macaroni in with the cheese sauce. On the stove or the microwave, I just always put it in the microwave. Um, it just, it works fine. But um, it's almost about where we want it to be melted. You kind of want to press down on the cheese, stir it up, break it up some, and try to get it all mixed in together. I'm going to pop this back in for another minute and a half. Cheese sauce. I have the oven preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We have our oiled pan sitting here ready. Our cheese is to the side. So we're going to break this up. And we'll be back after the cheese is grated. Salt and butter. Two tablespoons. Get this meal in here. So we have all of the macaroni added to the cheese to make sure it has cheese and milk covered over all of it. So that's our quick cheese sauce. 
just like to zigzag over the macaroni. So depending on how much you have, of course, it'll be a little more. Get that stirred in just a little bit. And we'll get our seasoning salt. Half a tablespoon. Pepper. Flip it with some more pepper. And I'll do some salt. Half a tablespoon. Ooh, I'm making a mess. This makes it creamy. You want your macaroni to talk to you. You hear that? Like somebody smacking something super juicy. That's what you want to hear. If you don't, it is not creamy enough or cheesy enough. Let's just get this mixed up and then we'll layer it with cheese. So I'm going to add in about half of the mixture to the pot, smooth it out. Mix up the cheese. This is sharp cheddar, extra sharp cheddar, mild cheddar, and mozzarella. Mozzarella. And fold it over, let it get mixed in. Jack cheese slices of it. You can do shredded. This is what I had. all this extra cheese. You can just do a stove top like that, melt the cheese on the stove and add it in. I do it like that for my little ones. They absolutely love it. cheddar cheese on top. Finishing touches. Mommy. Yes. Mommy. Yes. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Paprika. cheesy talking to you and smacking <laughs> 